everyone, Dash Attack here, and I got two Disney-related stories for you. Okay, the first one is that apparently they're delaying the new Snow White remake with Rachel Zegler. Oh man, that's that's so funny. And this was just after uh, the Daily Wire said they were going to do a Snow White movie. Oh my god, Ben Shapiro literally scared Disney out of release. That is... That is hysterical. Though, uh, you know, I'm not a big Shapiro fan, like, at all. But, you know, I can't give him all the credit. It was probably also uh, the Panderverse, which, uh, you know, that... The re relations to that have been, like, super, super funny. It The episode totally makes fun of Disney. It makes fun of the multiverse. It's, uh... Really good. I don't want to spoil it, but, um... Oh, yeah, there's even a lot of Boulder's Gate 3 references. I don't want to spoil it, though. I just watched South Park join the Pandoverse. Absolutely hilarious. They destroyed Disney and Kathleen Kennedy and people not having any basic skills to do stuff around the house. It's great. South Park joining the Pandoverse without context. It's hilarious. This is Eric in the Panderverse. So, oh, oh my God! They they did that thing with this the that skin thing. That's all the craze in uh, woke uh, cultures now. Oh my God! I still love Asian Kenny. Oh man, if only she was into dudes. I'm officially done with South Park. It's nasty, crude, and too far right-wing and intolerant behavior and complete racist and suffering character flanderization. I'm sticking with Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss and that new show TACD, The Amazing Digital Circus. So you're going to crawl back under your safety blanket because a cartoon made fun of your woke principles? That's not tragedy. That's not even discipline. That's Disney levels of pandering. Okay, that's enough South Park. Back to Snow White. They're really letting the Daily Wire release their knockoff Snow White movie first? Yes, they are. E even if it wasn't directly the cause, this this is like, oh my god. Ben Shapiro's total victory. Oh my god. Oh my god, you can't make this stuff up. Also, it appears that, um... Part of the reason they're delaying the film is also so they can add real dwarves instead of the seven diverse magical creatures, whatever it, these people were supposed to be. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think Disney is just getting its freaking ass kicked in the uh, in the court of public opinion, and I, I, I couldn't be more happy as someone who's been completely burnt out by them. Oh my god, Lofty spot on right here. So Peter Dinklage fought really hard for a bunch of effing losers to take jobs away from little people, and now they got fired and replaced with CGI, and this all took place during an actor strike hell-bent on securing jobs for human actors. This is fine. Fire, fire. Anyways, always happy to make a video laughing at Disney's misery. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.